In this problem, illustrated with many things from my daughters, we were building sets of integers by successive insertions and deletions of elements. So for instance, starting with the empty set, we, we can first add 0 and 2, then remove 0 and add 1, and finally remove 1 and 2. Okay, and each element is inserted and, ex and deleted exactly uh, once. And then the point is that we have to make a small computation that involves all the sets simultaneously. And n can be large, and the total number of elements in all the sets can be quadratic. For instance, if we first insert 0 and 1, and then 2, and then 3, and so on, and then we remove the elements only at the very last step, then we have a total number of elements which is quadratic. And now, if we implement the, the sets too naively, for instance, using uh, arrays of, of Boolean values, for instance, then this will use a quadratic space and we can't afford that. The origin of that problem is a famous problem called planar point location, when you are given a subdivision of the plane using polygons and you have to devise the data structure so that given a query point, you can uh, determine which face contains this point in logarithmic time. And to do that, you can split the plane into vertical slabs using lines passing through the vertices and then you can sort these slabs from uh, left to right, and within each slab, you can sort the edges uh, from top to bottom. Now, given a query point, you can binary search for the slab, and then within the, the slab, you can binary search for the two edges. And now you can answer in logarithmic type. But the point here is uh, to represent all the slabs efficiently, in particular, for all the slabs not to be quadratic in space. So this is exactly our problem. And one solution to this problem is to use a persistent data structures. And a persistent data structure is a data structure when, when, uh, where when you do an operation, like insertion of deletion, you are not uh, modifying the initial data structures. So this way we can build the next set from the previous one by performing insertion and deletion. And if the cost of uh, these two operations is logarithmic, then the total cost will obviously be n log n, because each element is inserted and deleted exactly uh, once. And an easy way to get a persistent uh, set of data structures uh, is to implement an immutable version of any flavor of balanced trees. And you don't have to go for something as complex as AVL or red black trees. You can, for instance, use a much simpler data structures like brown trees. And if you are interested in more details, you can go and have a look at planar point location and, and the subsequent work on persistent data structures by these authors. And you will see that the solution goes even further by providing a solution which is in a linear space for planar point location.